This was a working machine shop and a red ball movers semi trailer. Out at the abandoned forest horde of cars and trucks today with Joe. Brought him out to see what's out here, so he's looking around. And I'm going to film a little more of what was too dark to see the last time I was out here. There's another motorcycle in there, hard to see. The Chevy Love is a 4x4. It's a really cool vintage camper. Old shed. Got more semi trailers full. Cool little under dash air conditioning unit. Assortment of items of the household variety. I really like old scratches and names and stuff they put on the walls of these. Cavemen had their petroglyphs. We've got our graffiti. Egyptians had their hieroglyphics too. Just totally, totally hoarded property left to neglect. They actually lived in this house. Crazy. Right here, short bed Dodge that's about the straightest rust free one of them I've ever seen. Dodge Caravan. If anybody remembers Red Ball Worldwide Movers, here's a reminder. This is Joe's first time out, so he's seeing everything for the first time, and I'm kind of coming back. Catch a little bit. Oh, didn't see before I get dark. <laughs> when I first came back here, I think I was a dead bald eagle. <laughs> I took my wife on our first date in one of these Dodge caravans. Hi there. The oh, international four-door. This was 64 through 70 that they built these. Well, I saw the double headlights on it. Was. Oh. Yes, it is. Okay, now I'm seeing something I never have before. That's actually customized. Oh, the grill? It's a, I think it's out of an Oldsmobile. Oh, I, looked, I thought it was Pontiac. Well, Dotson. Pontiac would have a thing. That is a Datsun grill. Is it? Uh, no, it's like chrome. It's too too expensive of materials to be Datsun. Yeah, somebody's. 
Some old hippie had some time and money and... Oh, oh, I see. You've done I see where we're at. What are you, what are you thinking on me? This is like one of my most walked right into a bar. hated plants. Ah. <laughs> I can film in between getting my life safety maintained. Pretty early ball, though. Here we go. I have a thing for telephone books. It's like my... I want this. Joe's trying to break into a van here. He has permission. Are we solving any mysteries here, Joe? <laughs> If it weren't for you meddling kids. That's a cool Volvo. Is it? Yeah. Oh, these I are the ones that have the like. Great six. Uh, the grill that looks like the British Rover. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I think they said it's a 126 or something like that. I don't, I don't remember the number. 124 maybe? Yeah. I think I'm getting poisoned out because I'm just looking at it. Yeah. Automatic. Did you ever get it from the first time you were out here? Oh, I don't think so. And Gordon said that the oils aren't as active. Oh, wow. Uh, Later. Directory. Yeah, I know. Yep. Get that guy. 1996 Olympics Coke can. Pretty worthless, but it's got a cool Coke bottle picture. Getting Andy Warhol vibes. Van's got a Chevy Nova rear bumper. I apologize for the really rough footage out here. I'm just trying not to face plant under vines and poison ivy. International, I want to say this is like Travelette, is what they called them, but it would take a lot. The ten worms have munched on this one super, super bad. Don't know, like it's just gone. Don't see stuff this rusty in Kansas, so it makes you think they left a bag of fertilizer in there. It's kind of what happens to a lot of these in these farm areas anyway. It's totally full of cans. This is more of the industrial type stash of items. Wow, tools. The guy had like a working machine shop in here. Unreal. Lathe. Drill press. 
This was a working machine shop and a red ball movers semi trailer. Now, like the average person probably would be pretty judgmental of property and condition and stuff like that, but a lot of these old timers they departed with knowledge that we will only dream of attaining very handy and self-reliant types of guys some kind of a kids art kit Pork and wood burning, it says. It's like he's got that video where he was. Did you look for his library? Oh, really? But it didn't. I can't oh, that was that. Video. That was that uh, Bud Palmer auction. <laughs> this is an old <laughs> Boeing. <laughs> Aircraft cabinet. Cool. I have a Honda 125XR that's at the house. Okay. Uh, and it has been in that box truck since I took it out of that box truck. Yamaha maybe on this one. So, but it's kind of pieces. It's the deadliest I war. Are they the Valkyrie? No. Street bikes, we got a couple of the old uh, ones with the V, V6 or whatever. Yeah, what are those? Either? So uh, wiper the cabinets. Gold wing. Gold wing. We have, a, we have a couple of the front Google oh, things, what yeah. do you call that? The fairing or whatever. Yeah. Call it. There's a couple of those out here, but not really complete street bikes. Like this. this, like motorcycle with three liter wheels? Yeah, it's a big wheel, little mini bike thing. You can get. Uh, that's the one I couldn't get out yet. I've been, I got most of the other ones at the house, and they're all listed up. Everybody's telling me, that's a go-kart frame. No, that's a lawnmower, lawnmower frame. Okay. Yeah. I dug it out. Found out the hard way. The international crawler here said he was still using. Still rocks over, she'd probably run. Tom and Jerry jelly glass for the fuel bowl. That's something you'll never see again. Mr. Good Player's exclusive, you saw it here. That's a cool little dozer. Don't have anything really to put next to it to show the scale of it, but it's probably the size of a AMC Pacer. Machine would be prime fodder for a will it run. If only I were a diesel mechanic. The old step van. All oh, full of items. Are you like Jim? You can look at that and know where it's off of. It's not good into anything that I do, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jim, where's this front bumper off of? 60s or 70s truck, Chevy. And this other rear one is. What, what year was What was that truck? Over here is the white truck. 
super cool piece. Make a good trash truck. Everybody says car hauler, car hauler, and I'm like trash truck. Over here is a champion spark plug workbench. I've only ever seen just the little spark plug cleaner that goes on the counter, but this is like the whole the whole piece. This is like if you were like super, super good customer of merchandise champion stuff. Discover some military surplus here. This is a military tailgate from oh, uh, Square Body. There's, yeah, there's like the sides for the troop bed. That's the roof, the roof for the troop truck, and then. No, this is a. That's the, underneath it, of it, though. This is, no, this is the hood. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I see. It's one of them sleeping hoods. Okay, well, here's the Judging by what we found, we're going to have Here's the right. Here's the front of the Chevy step in. Cool truck. Way, way back part of the property here. McCormick, McCormick. Combine harvester. Got your windmill tail. Trying to see what monitor it looks like. Well, it, 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 you can number, see the writing on the other side better. Number 33. Clutch. Clutch. Hutchinson, Kansas. <laughs> Joe's got a twinkle in his eye like he's found something. Oh, shoot. Is this the Dodge? Oh, that's probably like a, a five-inch bolt circle. Sixteen. Could be... A couple of these up here? Yeah, sixteens. Are they nothing? I don't usually, I think I've sold out of all of mine, but it's been, uh, that's like 37, 38 Pontiac. Thirty four Chevrolet. What are they? Seventeen. It's kind of been driven flat. It'd be good for yard art. Oh yeah, sure enough. Smashed it. This will rotate over so it can act as a mower, and then it'll act on different angles. I don't know why you'd want a different angle. Well, because like that, you could use it for uh, track uh, clearing for highway work, too. I don't know if this guy was doing highway work. 
that uh, they use a saw blade like that to go in and do uh, get all the cracks. And I would blow. imagine. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would imagine this is just a before concrete high. Maybe. <laughs> very, very true. I wish it had the motor with it. I'm sure we can find you a motor. Yeah, it looks to be like. I'd walk right past that. Here, here's a motor for it. Hey, no, that's the motor for this thing. <laughs> Whatever it is. Watch that. Yeah, all right. That is pretty cool, though. Right? The motor would sit right. Really... No, that's the motor. Well, why is it like an early bush on it or something? Yeah. The seat would have gone back here. Oh yeah, it's like a mini mowing. a mini bike that you can mow your lawn with. Dude, do you know what that is? Or show you what that is. No, I you're right. That I is see one at uh that's probably you sit right here and you put your feet right here. Yeah, you remember the yellow frame over there by the oh, yeah. collapsed garage? I bet that's the motor set up for it. Because then motor. The yeah, look. Well no, it already has a motor. Right. But I do want to see what else you're gonna show me over there. Any of this that we skip over, be sure and look in my last video because we probably catch more of it there. And then last time I ran out of time, it got too dark to look in the abandoned collapsed farmhouse. So definitely going to take a little time here toward the end of this video. Rambler and the Dotson. I caught them in the last video. One of the last videos. Who knows what order this will be edited and dropped in. Okay, this is another fun place we have to look. Yeah. Why oh, would he, come here, Tim. Why would he cut out holes out of the tire? He's making videos. <laughs> <laughs> so that in several decades later, when YouTube existed, that people could oh, look at that. it and yeah. argue on the internet <laughs> with strangers. Jack stand bases. This is the building that might have the live wires in it. Uh, they had had those around boring too. Let me show you this. Let me show you this. Yeah. This is. This is the building that may have the live wiring in it, Joe. This that has live wire? It may. We phase two electric build out here. We don't know if this one is live or not, but there is electrical running through the ceiling, so that's just a warning thing. Knock yourself out, I don't care. Look at you. I saw this at an auction this morning. It's a ratcheting jack. Hard hat zone. Here. You can steer it with the little handle that you ratchet it with. I had never seen one before. Oh, yeah, these, uh, the wiring in this list could very well be live. Could not. Could be, could be. Really good fire. Impeding. Yeah, the old house was like it's been gone longer than this.
Oh yeah. And the, you, the the shells are just. I cannot stop sweating. Yeah. I need. To Here's the wire if it's live. That's why we warn you. <laughs> yeah, because I went all over in there too. And it's like, we know where one of them is. We haven't determined where the other one is. That's the other hand shut off. Well, yeah, that's, that's, true. that's true too. I think if she gets that stuff, she's just trying to get it where it's through. So, and there she is, taking stuff. Alright. I might have a blade. <laughs> you might have. Oh, not really. This is an eight plug one. That's a sixteen five. That's yeah, some goofy aftermarket. Yeah, re chrome reverse. Some goofy chrome reverse. What is that? See that? Uh, sixty to sixty six Chevy truck. Ford caps for the Ford man. No, for the trailer. I need to for my trailer. Oh. Green. Oh, he could tell he just tossed some stuff through the window. <laughs> okay. piece has been here so off a long time. Got the corn sheller. Got the old water fountain, water cooler, filing cabinets, just remnants and memories. Super old co op fencer. It's always an adventure looking at these places. Seventy five through eighty Dodge pickup. The International Harvester School Bus. Gordon, do you remember Powell Carpet on 569 West Douglas? Um, I don't. I think it's Pune. You would have. Oh, no, you're right. You would have bought your floor coverings at any other location in the metro uh, area. We did, on the east side. We lived on the east side. Hillside and Douglas when I was growing up. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I want to stop. What uh, steering wheel is in this van? Okay. 
So. Fifty six Chevy, I think. Chevy? Or Dodge? Yep, it's Chevy. Surely that's a Dodge. The van's a Dodge, yeah, the wheels. Oh, that's it's pretty new, too, Tim. That phone number it is, is uh, yeah. Seven digits, doesn't yeah. have a prefix. This is a Gersten Schlager. And that's the company that built the Wiener Mobile. Really? Yep. My 60, 59 Chevy van was a Gerson Schlager. What's that? Well, right now, I it looked, it didn't look right. Super cool van. What uh, what do you want on this? Fifteen. Basement, cellar, that's where grandma kept her canned goods, on the shelf, just, just memories now, just a PSA, if you guys are ever out doing this, where the investment is an old pair of firefighting boots. These are waterproof. They have a full steel sole plate, so you can walk over these nails without fear. And they are as non-conductive as they can be. I don't think they're rated for anything, but they're definitely... And they have a safety tow. So this is the old house. Looks like the bathroom here. And I'm about to fall through. There's a dollar in here. Oh, a dollar in your pocket? Oh, how about a dollar in trade for items on the property? Then I'll do it. Not too unsafe. There's only about a foot to fall. I'll walk across the joist and if it collapses, then oh well. This is pretty run down old house. Here's the closet under the stairwell. This side is probably the kitchen, be my guess. There's not probably too much danger in meeting a critter just because there's not a, probably enough house here to really shelter a critter.
see the twisted chimney. It's a little hard to tell on film. That goes all the way up the back here. It's kind of crazy. This is like the upstairs bedroom all around. More of that twisted chimney. Just like to be able to show these places while they still exist in some form. So a lot of times these places get sold and knocked down and Then you just lose this history. I can't really get back far enough away. I can't really get back far enough away to show the whole thing. This is about as close as possible. It's always a little easier to see more of these places during winter and spring when all the vegetation's dead. The forest's just totally taking this over. Cool place. View up the side. Around the front. This house was just kind of a big, plain two story box, no porch. It's kind of uncommon. These old folks that built these places, they'd take these limestone blocks and they'd cut them and knock them into the shapes and build the houses. You can see on this corner the critters chewed a hole to get in there for residence and refuge. Back when there was still enough of this house and tacked them together to be a place for that. Here's the old Ford truck. Super cool truck. It's a diesel. Tandem axle. Heavy truck. Fenny County plate. That thing came here all the way from Garden City. And they said they drove pretty much all this stuff in here. Of course, these boots are nice, but hard hat probably wouldn't have hurt either.